and for me, what what got me into um, the Cthulhu mythos and H.P. Lovecraft in at all was the board games. The, there are oh, board you games came that, from the other side. I came from the other side where I was. So uh, many years ago, um, I knew somebody who he brought out this game called Arkham Horror. And okay. uh, if uh, if Batman, you're not familiar, right? No, so Arkham Asylum yeah. that's in Batman is actually taken from Arkham from H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Because the town, the the fictional town of Arkham, Massachusetts, uh, it was one of the main things of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. It was a, okay. a primary setting. Oh, I did not and, know that. Yeah, and Batman had used Arkham as a part of that. Oh, uh, that's later cool. On. But so Arkham Horror was um, a board game uh, created by Fantasy Flight. Okay. And. Uh, what was so interesting to me, especially coming from the back end of it, is that this game, you are trying to defeat this elder god. You're trying to, like, there's little portals that open up in your town. And sure. you're trying to seal the portal, you know, as you do. You know, you're trying to seal the portals. and uh, Cocking gun. Right, exactly. And it's all, like, old-timey. You know, it all takes place, like, in the 20s and 30s. Mm-hmm. And there were characters. You get, like, different character sheets, and, and the characters are already created. It's not okay. like a, it's not, in this sense, it's not a, like a role-playing game where you create your own character. This oh, one, there's, like, characters you choose from. Right. That you, okay. But they would be, like, here's uh, Marie Lambeau, the, the lounge singer, or, oh, okay. or Michael McGlenn, the gangster. You know, like, so they had all these. So for me, I'm seeing all these characters, and I'm like, oh, these are based on books. So if I read these stories, it has these characters in them. Okay. And I was wrong. Because you liked, oh, really? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, like,